With the turmoil in the Texas schools over the past year or two, did that play into your decision to choose Ohio State? Uh, a little bit. Um, I just knew that this was the best place, and none of the schools in Texas would provide the best opportunity for me. I don't know how much the coaches have talked to you yet about what position you'll play, but are you going to move around a little bit? Are you strictly a running back, JK, or will you play running back and age, or what can you tell us about that? Most, talk, most of the talk is me playing mostly running back, but whatever they want me to do, I'll do it. There seems to be an opportunity there, if not to start, but to at least get playing time as a true freshman, especially enrolling early. What are your expectations your uh, true freshman year? Uh, just to get in there and play early, do some great things early. How have the if workouts it, been? Workouts have been pretty good. Um, they're, they're pretty hard, but I mean, I, I can get through it. There are rumors that you guys didn't realize warm-ups were warm-ups. <laughs> yeah, the warm-ups, when I first got here, it was the hardest thing, you know. I felt like it was the most difficult thing, so. <laughs> harder than practice? I don't know. I haven't been through practice yet, so I'll just see. I mean, h harder than your high school practice, as you oh, said, it was yeah. the hardest thing. Yeah, it, it, well, not practice, but warm-up wasn't the hardest thing in high school. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you mentioned the reason that you, you wanted to be here as opposed to staying home. There's so many of you. It's a group of, of Texas players, and it could potentially grow today. Mm -hmm. um, is there a certain bond that you all have already developed? Obviously, you all kind of already knew each other a little bit, um, but is there a certain bond, like you're coming here as a team almost, to take this on? Oh, uh, yeah, we got a special bond. You know, all the guys from Texas are pretty close, and we just want to come here. We, we knew that this would be the best place for us, and we weren't scared to make the jump from Texas to Ohio, so I think it'll benefit us in the end. What was the main attraction or anything else, JK, that got you here? Um, tradition, and I just felt it in my heart that this was the best place. But you're from LaGrange, Texas, which is halfway between Houston, Austin, San Antonio, nowhere, not just messing with that. Uh, how did that hookup come? Had you known about Ohio State for a while or just? Oh, yeah. Um, when I was when I was younger, uh, I always watched Ohio State. I mean, it's a great school, great tradition, winning tradition. And I felt like, man, it would, it would be crazy to play here. So whenever I got the opportunity, I just couldn't pass it up. And how are you physically right now? Are you 100%, 90%? Oh, yeah, I feel like I'm 100%. JK is with Ranger at Dallas Cowboys Town. Are you a Cowboys fan there? Yes, there's a lot of Cowboys fans. So you've been, was Ze the Zeke influence, was that part of it too? Were you following him the whole time, not after he left Ohio State? Uh, I mean, I always looked up Zeke. Zeke is a great player, you know, and I mean, it, it kind of had an influence on me, but I mean, it was, I felt like it was about me. JK, how much did that play into your decision? You know, the, the history of great running backs and NFL running backs, you know, Carlos Hyde and Zeke just in recent years. How much did that play into your decision? They played a big role because, I mean, you want to go to school, that's that's going to develop you as a running back, as a player, and as a man. So whenever I seen, I seen that, I was like, I, that's, the, that's a great opportunity. You know? If it was just completely up to you, would you definitely rather be just a straight running back or are there parts of the H-back role that might be like interesting to you. I don't know. Cause, I mean, I like catching the ball too, and all that stuff. So I don't, I don't really know. I couldn't tell you which one. I either or. It doesn't matter. Is it harder for out-of-state schools to come in and get a guy out of Lagrange? Because your coach said that it's so much easier for the Texas schools to come in there and you know, make a lot of stops at the high schools along the way. But out-of-state schools often stick to like you know the you know DFW area or Houston and places like that. Um, just what was your experience like that, and what did Ohio State have to do to get you? I uh, mean, I, I built a great relationship with Coach Alfred, the running back coach here. So that was that played a big part in it, and you know, just Coach Meyer too. He always checked up on me every week, and so I, I feel like that played a big role, you know. And there was a lot of schools and other other places that tried to do the same thing, but I just felt like they were genuine, you know. And that's all I wanted: is genuine people around me. They put in the time there as far as you know, talking to you all the time or coming to visit. Like, right. How often were they down there? Coach Alfred was down there a lot. Like I can't, I can't even tell you how many times he came down. But they checked up on me. Coach Alfred, I talked to him every day. Coach Meyer, probably twice a week. You know, so it was just great relationships. When we talked to Mike Weber last year, it was like every week, and the coaching staff was making the comparisons to Zeke, and he did this last year. And, uh, is that part of the recruiting pitch as well? Are they? constantly drawing some attention to what he's been doing? Uh, sort of. Sort of. Um, really, whenever they were rec recruiting me, it was, we didn't really, like, just talk about that type, type of stuff, you know. 
it was mainly about family. It was it was just normal people talk, you know, and I, that caught my eye too because it wasn't just all about football. It was getting to know me too. How hard was it to miss this past season with the injury? Oh, it was very hard. It was difficult. What did you do during this, like, how did you cope with it? Uh, I mean, just pray to God and just try to lead my team as best as I can on the sideline. And it was just hard. You'll be full go for spring? I, yes, sir, I will be. What do you think you're listed at 200 pounds? Is it? Water burger. Bears the same <laughs> more than the kolaches there in, in LaGrange? Ah, yes. Whataburger, I, I haven't had it in a long time, so I'm kind of missing it. you got to go to Thurman's, man. Thurman's, Thurman's? is the best. Yeah. It's better, you, you think it's better than Whataburger? Yes. No. It's pretty good. I had Whataburger. Oh, no. yeah, it's, 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 it's better than In-N-Out. <laughs> sure yeah, where, where's, where does Whataburger sit compared to In-N-Out? We're number one. Whataburger. <laughs> Can you talk about the cardboard consistency of in and out <laughs> fries? <laughs> Can you elaborate on that a little bit? The fries are the best thing there, you know. <laughs> but the burgers are pretty good. <laughs> breakfast, breakfast taquitos. <laughs> those, are, those are good, too. Spicy ketchup. <laughs> I, I didn't you know, eat the spicy ketchup, <laughs> but... <laughs> What else you miss, J.K.? I mean, you know, you could drive one minute and you'd be out of town, you know, in LaGrange or two. I mean, oh, okay. he, we're he, not that small. I know. I know. I mean, I got, my, brother, my brother lives right down the road from your high school. Or he has a weekend place there right down the road from your high school. But, uh, but, but I just want to ask you, I mean, is it, is it taking you getting used to to a big city or is it part nah, of the deal? You know? I feel like I'm, I don't know, it wasn't, a, I didn't feel like it was a big transition from yeah. my town to this town. Um, I mean, I didn't just, like, I wouldn't, I didn't stay in LaGrange, like, my whole life, you know. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not that hard. Uh, you, know, you were standing on the sidelines last year. Were you thinking, <coughs> "Woe is me, man! I wish I was out there," or were you already thinking ahead to this? When, since you knew your season was kind of oh, not going to happen, you know. I mean, at the beginning, what kind of thoughts were you having when you were standing there? You know? At the beginning of the injury process, uh, I was, I was, just, I wish I could get back out there. Like, I couldn't even go to sleep. Then, as time went on, I kind of realized that. We're gonna be able to play, <clears throat> and it wouldn't be the best decision for me to just hurry up and get back out there. Yeah. So I just started looking ahead a little bit and just trying to plan for the future. I think you're listed at 200 pounds. Is that accurate? How how big do you want to get? Uh, I'm 208 right now. Yeah, I see. So and wherever Coach Mick wants me to get, that's where I'll go. Has he told you? Yeah, he hasn't told you this is your like ideal weight. He's just busy just running the, the heck out of you guys right now. I mean, he sort of. I mean. They call me Meatball, you know. Why <laughs> so, is that? I don't know. I guess because I'm like, I guess I'm a little stocky, you know. So, call me Meatball. You know, I, I'm kind of just on the shorter end here. So, is there any rhyme or reason to these nicknames? Because Tate told us his nickname is Chuck. Yeah, Tate is Chuck. I don't know why they call him that. <laughs> but Meatball, I, I guess because I'm chunky, like it's kind of short. You know, I ain't that short, you know. But. <laughs> That's good for a running back, though, right? I mean, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I, I hate when people call me short. Like, I, I ain't that short. <laughs> Would it have had any 